Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial. Um, basically I'm going to show you how to set up a really cheap DVS system which is really good using I've got a Vestax PDX2000 running tractor scratch time code vinyl and it's going to be hooked up to the Hercules RMX console which has a built-in sound card it's a 4 in 4 out. I picked these up for around about £40 on eBay and it's a really nice console solid construction lots of buttons you can map in tractor okay let's get onto the wiring right basically I've got it hooked up you've got the output from the turntable going in to the inputs you've got you've got inputs 3, 4, 1 and 2 so you've got so you can hook up another turntable to this side if you want but I've got mine up to 3 and 4 now the outputs are here I've got my output going to the sound card on the line in so it saves me using a separate amplifier I'll show you how to set that up as well I think that's about it I'll make sure your ground connections are set up as well and also there's a little switch on the bottom you can't really see it in the video um, but make sure they're set to phono okay in my next video I'll show you how to set up the software and all the drivers and get this working with tractor okay guys welcome back I'm going to show you how to install the drivers and the TSI file in tractor software right, first things first make sure your Hercules is unplugged and you need to basically get the drivers now so you need to go to support.hercules.com or just type in Hercules drivers and that should come up and the first thing you need, you need the driver which is here for PC or Mac so you download that and put it on your desktop so easy to find I've already done it next thing you need is the MIDI mapping so download that make sure you're also running Tractor Pro 2.68 or higher or this won't work so just bear that in mind you download that and you'll put that in there as well okay finished there you've got the files you need next thing you do you will basically set up the driver for the Hercules once that's plugged in it should find it and install it and everything should be working there so the next thing you need to do you'll see down here you'll, you'll have a tray icon you'll double click that click on ACO and make sure it's set to down here make sure it's set to ACO not WDM which it will do by default so make sure that's checked okay you don't need to change anything else you can exit out of that okay on to the next step and what we need to do we need to do a little registry hack so first things first type in reg edit now the files we need you'll need to go to local machine software ACO and this in here and you see the description there you need to change this so tractor It'll basically trick Tractor into thinking that you've got an Audio 8 DJ sound card installed. So click that and that will change the description there. And there's also another one you need to do. So if you scroll down, you'll see this WOW 6432 node. So click, there's another ACO folder, so click there click there, change the description again to Audio 8 DJ so you've basically got both of them changed and they both say Audio 8 DJ ok once that's done, mix it out of there ok guys here we are in Tractor the first thing you need to do you need to import that TSI file we downloaded earlier so find your file Click that and open and that will import that. I'm not going to do it, it's already done it. Once you've done that, you need to go to audio setup, make sure audio 8 DJ is selected in the sound card and the audio. Uh, output routing is internal 3412, just like that. Inputs 1234. Uh, 
in transport, make sure beat sync selected. And quality, I've got mine on HIQ. Mixer, I've set to sharp, which is a lot better for scratching. And the controller manager, this is for the effects, make sure that's selected. DJ RMX console and the input and output of Hercules. Exit that and we should be up and running. Okay, let's give this a try out now. I'll load up a track left deck, we'll hit play. That's playing absolutely fine. Let's start the turntable. And then you can see, got a nice signal. Okay guys, there you go. That's fully working. If you've got any questions, hit me in the comments below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Cheers guys, I'll see you in the next one.